Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm starting a new series on my channel that I'm calling Spotlight on Petite Palettes. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I'll love, love, love eyeshadow palettes, and then I own quite a few of them. If you haven't seen my collection video, I'll go ahead and throw that up in the cards. But if there's one thing that I struggle with, it's reaching for smaller palettes. Anything less than, anything like 10 pans or less, I don't really reach for it as often as I do my medium sized palettes. Considering the size of my eyeshadow palette collection and the fact that, you know, a good fourth of it are these smaller palettes, I thought I really need to reach for these palettes more. I really do need to utilize them, work them into my rotation. So that's what this series is going to be about. I'm going to try to do it like every other week, maybe once a week, we'll see. I'm just going to reach for a smaller palette, do a simple look, try it out, give you guys a small review on the palette or a first impression if it's new, and hopefully throughout this process I'll find myself reaching more for these smaller palettes. Overall, this series is just to get me to get a little bit out of my comfort zone, reach for these smaller palettes, try to get a little bit more creative with these smaller palettes, and I'm actually going to be starting this series with a palette I mentioned in my palettes I've bought and never used video. I'll throw that up in the cards as well, but this is the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette. So if you saw that video, you'll know that I did buy this palette quite a while ago, a few weeks, if not a couple of months, and I just never reached for it. It was still in its box in my drawer with the rest of my small palettes. I decided to pull it out today and start the series with this one because I am going to an interview later today and I was looking for a nice neutral palette that I could reach for. And instead of going for like my go-to neutral palette, I thought I would try out one of my smaller palettes and this one from MAC. Since this is an all matte palette, I did bring in just a liquid shadow a little bit for the lid right here and that is the Kylie Cosmetics liquid shadow in the shade Superstar. So in the look that I will show you in just a few minutes, I did use four out of the nine shades and I st like kind of um, leaned away from this last row right here, which I find the most interesting part of the palette. But for a neutral kind of like interview look, I didn't really want to go with the burgundy or the mustard, even though they are beautiful shades. I stayed within these two rows over here just so I could have a nice neutral look. Overall, these shadows are beautiful. They are very, very pigmented, you'll see in the demo. They blend out beautifully, and I actually got this look like less than five minutes like if i hadn't been talking to the camera i probably could have done this look in like two minutes which is nice because this could be a nice go-to every day if you're in a rush if you're trying to run somewhere just pull this out of your arsenal you've got an entire look in a palette that you can bang out in just a couple of minutes so let's go ahead and jump into the look Okay, so today's look's going to be mainly neutral. I've done the rest of my face already. Some nice, neutral, just full coverage look. I do have an interview in a couple of hours, which is why I'm filming this. If, you know, whenever I have an interview or like a meeting, I get like really nervous and I always wake up like way too early. Like right now it's like 5.45 in the morning and I don't even have to leave until seven. So we're here slowly getting ready. And with the series, I wanted to focus on my smaller palette, so I'm going to be focusing on the MAC Semi Sweet Times 9 palette. And since these are all mattes, I'm bringing in a liquid shadow. This is from Kylie Cosmetics in the shade Superstar. It's just a like neutral kind of pearl color, which I thought would fit nice with the neutral look that I'm going for and also with the shadows. So I've already primed and set my primer. I primed with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly and then I set it with this cream shade right here. So I think I'm mainly going to be focusing on this center row right here and then I might bring in, I think that's carbon, is the black? Yeah, carbon, just to line on the upper lash line. But I think I'm gonna go with a brown liner because I don't wanna do like a winged liner or anything too harsh for an interview. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the next shade over, which is this one right here. I know they all have names, but I hate when they just put the names on the back of the palette and it's like, I had to flip it and I know, that's like the most first world problem ever, but <laughs> I got issues with reading on the back of palettes. Also, this doesn't have a mirror, so I need to grab a mirror. Just a little bit of definition right there. I'm debating whether or not I want to use the mustard shade. I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to jump next into the middle shade, which is like this nice brown. 
and this is mocha minded i think if i'm reading the back of this right i mean i think something that keeps me away from using smaller palettes especially when i'm filming is that when i film i can't have a mirror right in front of me because it's the mirrors that i have are all too big and they would cover up half of the frame so i think part of it is just the convenience of using a palette that either has a mirror when filming versus one where i kind of have to like bring in a palette which is something that I've noticed because whenever you see ooh, that is pigmented Jesus but that's something that I've noticed like bigger beauty gurus whenever they do reviews or whenever they talk about palettes they always mention whether or not there's a mirror in it and that is something that is really helpful when you're trying to film a review when you're trying to focus on one palette whereas if you're just doing your makeup and you already have your mirror and it's just like your everyday kind of routine you really don't need one so that is something that I noticed going from like YouTube viewer to YouTube creator. I'm just gonna blend that out with a big fluffy brush real quick. And it's looking nice so far. I think I'll probably only bring in one more matte shade from the palette and then I'll jump in with the liquid shadow. I'm gonna use a smaller, more defined brush for this. Which one, which one? Yeah, I'm gonna take my Sigma E25 and I'm gonna go in with the shade right here like a darker brown and i'm going to take a little bit because i don't want it to be too dark perfect there we go just enough to give your eye a little bit more dimension a little bit more depth especially if you have hooded lids this is a really good trick bring all your transition shades up above your natural crease just to create the illusion of one and then take a darker shade and put it in your actual crease because it'll add that shadow and it'll help make your transitions pop. Okay, so I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to jump in to the Kylie Liquid Shadow. And I'm only really going to use a little bit of this. And I'm only going to focus it on like the inner third of my eye. Because I don't want it to be too out there. You know, I just want to add a little bit of shimmer to the lid. Just so that the whole look doesn't really look flat. Yep, and just like that. Just a little bit of shimmer, not too much. It doesn't take over the look, but it does add some dimension to the eye. So once this fully dries, I'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera real quick and just do my mascara and my liner because I really want to focus on my liner. I'm not going to wing it out or anything. I'm just going to line the upper lash line. I'm going to use the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in brown, and then I'm going to use my trusty Chantecaille mascara. Okay, so we have liner and mascara on. I also threw on my lip color. This is the YSL Matte Lip Stain in shade number 7. A nice neutral color, super comfortable, lasts well throughout the day. I would highly recommend this if you have to go to like an event or if you need to look like your best, like for an interview or a meeting. So I'm just going to finish up the look real quick by taking the like medium brown shade right here in the middle and just taking it a little bit on my lower lash line. I don't want to do too much because I don't want to risk having it like smudge or look like bags throughout the day so I'm really just going to take a little bit and focus it on the outer like third of the lower lash line because so I really just want to define the rest of my eye without making it look like I have raccoon eyes <laughs> so I'm just going to take this right down here and like just like that literally just a little bit normally i would go in with lower lash mascara but for today like it's supposed to rain i've got the interview i really don't want to risk having that smudge so i'm gonna skip lower lash mascara and just use this to define my lower lash line and that's the final look Okay, so that was the look. Nothing too exciting, but a nice, neutral, easy, everyday look that is appropriate for meetings, for work, for school, or for interviews. I hope you guys liked the beginning of this series. I really do want to branch out and reach out for all of my smaller palettes. So let me know down below if you've seen my palette collection and you know any smaller palettes, let me know what you want to see next. I'm thinking of going with a couple of the smaller wet and wild quads or one of my Too Faced tin palettes. So let me know down below what you guys want to see next. Thank you so much for watching. I hope if you liked it, you'll go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see any more of the videos in this series or any of the rest of my content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye!